Welcome to tonight's Big Brother 9 recap. I love it. <laughs> I almost said updates and spoilers because I'm so trained like a dog. So, <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> so it's Oscar night, just to get off track for a second. Did you see those Oscars? Mm -hmm. In freaking credible. But we didn't go, we didn't make it to the end yet. So. All right, so don't tell us. We gotta hurry up. All right. Okay, Jen and Parker were evicted last week. And they Ryan were. <laughs> and James and Chelsea won a uh, PO. Uh, H-O-H. H-O-H. So, as a result of the H-O-H, they are not allowed to use cups. Well, among other things. Yeah. But, when they came in from the H-O-H, all the cups were gone. Mm -hmm. And they are like, what, oh, we, what we are we going to do? We got to names on bowls. Let's go. Let's put our names on I them. I guess we need to drink out of bowls. This is vital. <laughs> we need to drink. They're acting like it was the end of the world. I, they're acting like they lost their thumbs. Uh, you kind of chose that, too. I know, you <laughs> dumbasses. <laughs> Okay, so James and Chelsea are telling Matt that uh, him and, and Natalie, Natalie are not going to be on the block this week. Ugh. They guarantee it. Why would you promise that? You don't promise that to anybody at this point. No. So Joshua tells Sharon about <laughs> Allison and Sheila's little gay mance. Gay mance? Yeah. <laughs> so Sharon's like, what? No way! Mm -hmm. Josh was like, mm hmm. Yeah, girl. You had me fooled, girl. Yeah. I love that guy. Me too. In a way. <laughs> you know? He's pissing me off lately, but he's got that southern charm. <laughs> so, I'll never get over that. It's time for the HOH room. Yay! So, James and. Not James. Yes. James. Yeah, James. James and Chelsea got their room and they had their little snacks and their t shirts and Pictures stuff. Pictures on the wall. They're like, family and my cat. And poor James, just, I think the only picture of his family was like... His sister. His sister and his mom. He hasn't seen his family in a while, though, because he was Biking. on that whole bike trip. And there so. was no gay porn pictures on the wall, either. I was really surprised. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's Too what he's explicit. been doing. <laughs> so, Matt is homesick, also. Yeah. I wish I had my family pictures. I really miss them. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, James, James has created yeah. this little Operation Condor ca -ca, ca -ca. with Ryan and Adam. Right. And the whole idea is that a condor is going to swoop down and right. take Alex and Amanda out. Away, yeah. Because they, they're going to try to get rid of the whole top row because Jen and Parker are Top shelf, gone. baby. Top shelf. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Adam was really getting into it too much. He really thought that there was a bird that was going to come down and swoop away uh, Amanda and Alex. Yeah. So. Sorry, Adam. It's a joke. <laughs> the next part of the show is my favorite. Mm. It's when Natalie has a delusion. And again, we will illustrate it with the use of props, because that's the only proper way to do it. She's always in water. Yeah. This is the bathtub in She's the a mermaid. Room. Yeah, she likes mermaids. If you with that. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, Matt, can you hand me the soap? What do you want, baby? I, I need the soap. No, I'm busy. I'm reading. I think you should come in the tub. It's big enough for like eight people. No, baby. I love you, and, I'm, and we're not going to have sex. Who said I wanted to have sex with you? I could have sex with you if I want, and I don't want to. You're well, going to mess up my gameplay, baby. Did you realize that both of us want five to seven kids? What? I don't care. What's wrong with you? Just give me the soap. All right, I'll get the soap. I'll be right back. What? <laughs> All right, here's the soap. Now shut up. And uh, I got something for you to do for me later. What, yeah, do you think I'm doing no this for books nothing? Allowed, right? It's a picture book, stupid. <laughs> you ever heard of pictures? <laughs> that concludes that. Yes. End wow. Scene. That's real meeting of the minds right it there. Is. They are a match made in heaven, if I, if you ask me. So Allison and Sheila are feeling very guilty. Yes. They they're thinking that this whole little secret of theirs is just ruining their it's gameplay. It's gone too far. It has gone. You it was know, supposed it, to be a little joke. I thought it was a joke in the beginning, but then Joshua just took it and ran He's with like, it. <gasps> but he didn't really tell anybody besides Sharon. So. Right. But right. in his own mind. Yeah, you know, in his. He's just cooking it up like, oh my god, there's more gays in the house. No, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so it's time for the food comp. Yeah. 
And two teams of three. Right. Well, three couples. C, duction. You didn't get that at first. I know, it took me a while to get that. I was like, C? Yeah. Duction. And D, ocean. Yeah, I didn't. No, actually, it was Dev, ocean. Well, it was. Yeah, D. on the captions, no. it said D, ocean. No, I said a V. Oh, okay. So, me. on the yellow team, seduction. Right, was Josh and Sharon. Ryan and Allison. And Matt and Natalie. Or Natalie, if you prefer. Yes, and on the green team. Was Chelsea and James, even though they don't have to go no on swap what, they lose. No matter what, they're going to eat real food this week. Right. Alex and Amanda. And, and Sheila, Sheila and Adam. Adam. That's right. So, they were allowed out of their pen and into the backyard. And usually when they, you know, keep them sequestered in there before a food competition or any competition. Well, they're always in there before a competition. Right. Because they're building something in the backyard. Well, they built this whole freaking lagoon yeah. out in the backyard. I don't know how they do that all the time. I don't know. And there was, you know, boat dock and water and everywhere. And a bunch of dead fish. I would say there was about 500 dead fish out there. That was really nasty. It was really disgusting, including an octopus. That well, was really gross. Let's try to get past that. <laughs> yeah, and it stunk. Mm -hmm. It stunk like the fish. So the challenge was exactly like this week's challenge on Survivor. I think the writers watch were that. watching Survivor. <laughs> and, um, except with or dead fish way. and not coconuts. Yeah. Right. So, if you don't watch Survivor, uh, each team had to have three people who held nets. Right. But in Survivor, there was only two nets. But in this one, there was six nets. One for each person holding it on each yeah. side of the teams. And the remaining three people on each team would go out, get dead fish, and, and try to em. throw them into the nets. To make them heavy, so that the people yep. would drop them. And whoever was the last one holding, holding their net still would win. That's right, for their team. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they were really ganging up on Ryan at first. I think they were They're really... trying to get rid of the good ones, like the strong ones, early. Yeah, but like even the people on his team were ganging up on him <laughs> and throwing stuff. I don't think they understood the whole challenge. I don't know. Well, if I get as many fish in his thing, that means we win, right? <laughs> Yeah. No. The oh. yellow team had a better strategy. Right. Because they kept their three guys to hold the nets and three girls to go right. out and get the fish. I don't know why the green team would have two guys and one girl. I don't know. That wasn't logical. But you know but. what? In the end, it really all came down to Adam holding the net on one side, and I forget who was holding the net on the other I think side. It was Joshua. Okay. But Joshua had way less fish right. because. He just did. I don't know how it came down to that when they were like targeting everybody. Why would they keep going back and forth, team? You know, stupid. So, yeah, it was all up to Adam for his team, and, and he, he blew lost. it. So, team Devotion is on slop. Except for Chelsea and James. Right, because they are HOH, mm -hmm. as we all know. So, Amanda thinks she's Jessica from last season. Jessica, of course, had the whole booyah phrase. Which was genius. That was awesome. Oh, let me just say, yes, on the spoilers, I was wrong about who was on slop. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Amanda has her bueno. She's like, is no bueno. No, she just says, no bueno. Oh, okay. But she thinks that bueno means hello. Well, sometimes, because she's like, bueno. Bueno means good. Amanda. Bueno. Bueno means good. Yeah, and everybody's getting pissed because they're tired of hearing her say, Bueno. In her baby voice. <laughs> bueno. Yeah. So. Hello is hola. Yes. Yeah, just so you know. With an H. Hola. -A. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you're not Jessica, so shut the hell up. All right, so James and Chelsea. I don't know if they were drunk or what. They didn't look drunk there to me. There was sloppy making out. There was sloppy making out, and they looked like uh, they wanted to. And I think they will again. Ooh. I predict. So Allison and Sheila finally come clean. We're not really lesbians. Yeah. <laughs> so first they told Chelsea, we play on different teams. I mean, we're on the same team, but we don't play on the we're same team. We're on the street team. team. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so... Then Allison goes and tells Joshua, and he seemed a little pissed. I would be too if I fell for some crap like that. Well, I guess all of a sudden there's two less gays in the house. He's back down to being the only gay in only the house. Only gay in the village. Well, besides James. The jury's still out on him. I don't know whether he just needed the money or what. I don't know. 
It's nomination time. Yes. Get out the big uh, octagon bucket. <laughs> well, obviously, Amanda and Alex are nominated. Duh. But James and Chelsea needed a pawn. Mm hmm. So they picked Matt and Natalie because they think that they have a really good chance at winning the veto. Right. So that they'll be able to take themselves off and Amanda and Alex will be sure to go home. Right. And they said that at the nomination ceremony. I know. I was like, they what? Wanted Alex Why would and you Amanda say that? Out. Wow. If they're not going home, they're going to set your ass on fire. So kids, until Tuesday when we have the POV comp. Much, Much love. love.